<laughs> yeah, okay, we're good. Let's move on. <laughs> and move on we shall to match of the year. This is a pretty big category, and with the Slammies, so many people were up in arms and running like chickens with the heads cut off and going crazy because certain matches weren't nominated and things like that. So hopefully we rectified the situation here. And I don't know, you guys be the judge. So for match of the year, here are the nominees. CM Punk versus John Cena. This was a number one contender match to determine who would face The Rock for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. The WWE Championship Money in the Bank ladder match. The Survivor Series Elimination Match, not the Total Divas one, the other one. <laughs> CM Punk versus Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam, and The Shield versus Cody Rhodes in Gold Dust at Battleground. This came down to two for me. It was the Battleground match or the uh, Lesnar match with CM Punk. They both had amazing stories. They were both. I was both, you know, out of my seat for both matches. Um, ultimately, it just kind of came down to. I feel like the Lesnar match. <laughs> with punk got a little bit more commitment to it um there was a little bit more of my investment into it um they were pretty much level in the work rate um i'm surely the no holds barred stipulation for the punk lesnar match uh kind of helped that out a bit for them i went with the punk lesnar match to me it was it wasn't you know steps ahead of the other one but it to, to me delivered a compelling story with brutal action um they really did a great job of selling me that punk could actually take down you know the the monster brock lesnar which was kind of something a lot of people complained about in the match with undertaker they really did that in that match so overall i just feel like that match definitely stood out as the match of the year yeah compared to other years especially uh 2011 there weren't as many match of the year contenders for me i think that undertaker versus cm punk at this year's wrestlemania while it was great uh i haven't seen the match since actually uh since it, since it actually first aired but i'm pretty sure if i were to watch it again and not be as excited as you know eighty thousand other people jumping up in the air if i would have had thought of it from a rational point of view the match probably wasn't as good as we've been used to with other undertaker matches even just matches in general this year i just there weren't many that really lived up to the hype uh brock lesnar and triple h that should have been really good at wrestlemania but unfortunately that wasn't very good john cena versus the rock mm, yeah that's not even but out of these matches i think this is a this is probably really the only uh you're we're not really missing anything so from this selection i think i'm gonna have to go with cm punk versus brock lesnar i thought that match was very fun to watch i was jumping out of my seat this is really the only match that i really felt very very excited for um i was just jumping out of my seat you know like oh my god man is cm punk gonna win brock lesnar you know it looked like he was gonna tap out at a couple of times during the match so and paul Heyman, he's just he just makes everything better whether he's in a promo or him you know trying to help his guy win a match everything about that match is really cool i'd love to see that again i will actually buy SummerSlam actually specifically for that uh for that match i think so the SummerSlam blu-ray probably already came out so i might have to pick that one up but yeah i'm gonna go with cm punk versus brock lesnar if i had to choose a runner-up i might go with cm punk versus john cena at raw i thought that was a very good technical showcase uh the pile driver spot it was really cool seeing that as supposedly it's supposed to be banned cody rhodes versus the, and goldust versus the shield i thought that was a cool match but I just kind of knew who was going to win. I mean, I guess you could say that's a bit of a silly thing because that doesn't undermine the fact that, let's say, something like, uh, I don't know, uh, Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker, you know who was going to win that at WrestleMania 26, but that doesn't mean it was a bad match. But still, for me, I knew that Cody was going to get his job back. So it's not like I didn't like that match, but, you know, I, I just think there were better matches for it. I wasn't that afraid you know that they're clearly not going to fire the guy so as for me I, i'm before i even talk about which one i'm picking i just want to say like a true cm punk mark i'm like the paper cm punk mark i campaigned for cm punk to undertaker to be on this list but i was shot down by the powers above so i'm sorry guys uh, cm punk marks took a lot hit here but on that note i will say my pick my pick for the win <laughs> my pick for this is uh cm punk versus brock lesnar when i think of match of the year i think about a match that could stand the test of time like hulk hogan andre uh Stone Cold Rock, you just pick any matches that will stand the test of time for that year, which could be match of the year. But 
all the matches we've listed here, except maybe the C- Cena match, because, you know, it's John Cena. Yeah, even CM Punk. Poor CM Punk had to work with that. Um, I, all these matches could be are seen as great, and like, oh my gosh, these are good matches of the year. But they're not, none, of them, um, none of them could say they could stand the test of time, or people like 10 years later, like, oh my god, I watched that Cody Rhodes-Shields match. Oh my god, gotta go back and watch that. With Brock Lesnar and CM Punk, I think that's the only match on this list that could take that. So that's why I pick it. And I wanted also was kind of leaning towards the WWE Money in the Bank match because it did have good story moments in there. And it was just a fun match to watch. Money in the Bank is always fun, though. So it's kind of like a cop-out to say Money in the Bank, really. And I just look at CM Punk and Brock Lesnar. I say they t- told an amazing story. It's a match that will stand the test of time, mostly because of the platform they were given. And it was Brock Lesnar and it was CM Punk, two mega icons. Well, CM Punk should be a bigger icon than what WWE's letting him be right now. But that's a story for another day. This is the Dubby's Presention Show, man. I'm also I also love the fact that they made CM Punk seem like such an underdog and how he kept he kept getting beat down. He kept coming back from the trenches like like it's like keep beating him down. Stay down. No, he's not. Coming. He just kept coming back. I love that. I love that kind of underdog story that he told in that match against Lesnar. They kept coming back like you beat me. You've hurt me. I'm not stopping though. I'm not stopping them. Then just by the last breath, he lost. And it was just a great match. I love the match. I could watch it over and over again. Never get tired of it. It will stand the test of time. Unlike some of the other ones. So that's why I pick. And plus, I'm a CM Punk mark. Come on. Picking the best CM Punk match ever. CM Punk. Yeah, I'm also going with CM Punk versus Brock Lesnar. A lot of my thoughts are also similar to uh, what the other cast members said. But uh, yeah, this match was just really, really good. Uh, like, this, like well, they mixed a lot of different styles in this match. So they had weapons, it was a brawl, they even added some MMA elements in there. Like, this match was really enjoyable and just a really good match. So, like, I can't say too much more because everyone else has already said it. But this match is really enjoyable. It's a match you could watch over and over and over. So, I really enjoyed it. And uh, I was scared Punk was going to win, but I think Lesnar won. So, either way, good, good match. Really enjoyed it. You know, I'm not calling anybody out or anything, but this is a situation like where you call your friends and you're like, hey, guys, let's hang out over the weekend. And slowly <laughs> throughout the week, every one of your friends calls you and like, hey, man, I got something to do. I can't make it. Sorry. And then you end up by yourself. That's what Charlie and Brandon did to me. I just wanted to <laughs> throw that out there because I wasn't going to be the odd man out here, but I would gladly be the odd man out and sing the praises of my match of the year and that is the shield versus cody rhodes and gold dust at battleground no other match out of 2013 encapsulated exactly what pro wrestling should be than this match it was an absolutely amazing story going into the match we touched on that earlier in the show with the authority and how you worked in the rhodes family and the amount of emotion and those moments where you're like yes when you're actually jumping out of your seat like dusty Rhodes getting involved when he knocked out dean ambrose with the bionic elbow and he chased him up the ramp and things like that and then gold dust comes in to save his father cody rhodes gets to win in the match honestly I didn't mark out for any other match out of this year more than I marked out for this one. And it honestly was great. Now, I went back and rewatched this match. The action was nothing. I'll go ahead and be honest about it. The action was nothing like out of the ordinary. But it was a really good contest, and like I said, it encapsulated exactly what pro wrestling should be. It had a great story going into it, great buildup. They made you anticipate the match, and there was an emotional connection. The crowd was electric, and it felt very personal, everything going on. And at the end of the day, you had a very satisfying ending. So that's what pro wrestling should be to me, and they got it here. They got it right ten times over. So, I will personally say that about that match, it is wicked unfair to criticize that match because you know who's going to win. That's not even what I was going to criticize here. I'm going to criticize Jay. I think Jay only picked that match because CM Punk wasn't in it. He's a CM Punk hater. What? Get the hell out of here. Just as much as no, I... No, it's going a little too far there, Justin. A little too far. You want to talk about storytelling? I'm not a fucking illogical hater like you. I actually you have become a hater of CM Punk. You can't pick a match with him in it. What, you can't say kidding? he's. This is completely coming out of nowhere. No, because there's no reason for you to pick that match over CM Punk versus no, Brock Lesnar. No, it's not because you realize I didn't say anything about that match at all. It's not as if I'm not picking Punk and Lesnar. I'm picking Cody, Cody Rhodes and Goldust versus the Shield. I don't have anything bad to say about Punk and Lesnar at all. If I had to go with the second place pick, that would probably be second. And I'll put the yeah, tag match as my second pick. So. Yeah. 
I don't see how you can say that. Argument but, invalid. In your critique of it, you're basically describing CM Punk versus Brock Lesnar in spades. Just saying. Was CM no, Punk's it's, it's father preference. involved? You can't argue what, preference. What, what, was Both CM Punk's father good. involved? Was his job on the line? It's sad that you have to bring his father to get over, but whatever. What oh what's sad God. about that? That was connected it's part of the to fucking history. What the hell? <laughs> that all of that history connected there. That was great. There was nothing sad about I'm that. I'm not saying it was a bad match. I'm just saying I think you only picked that match because CM Punk wasn't in it. And I think you're full of shit right now. Oh, you go that's, ahead. You're putting the sympathy right on you. Are. Oh, oh, let you me finish, are let me finish this thought. Saxo fan. Let me finish this thought here. You, you're playing the sympathy card because we're all of us picking Brock Lesnar and CM Punk, and I feel that's going to negate the fans to you because, oh, here's the one wolf standing kind of thing. No, 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 don't take this wrong way, guys. CM Punk versus Brock Lesnar is the match of the year, all things considered. Wait a minute. How does that make sense, though? That, oh, well, everybody is going to be like, okay, one person voted for that match. So 80%, like underdog. 80% like underdog. of the fucking hosts went for one match, and they're going to go with the, 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 the remaining 20%. And I, I said at the beginning, I wasn't the only one originally scheduled to talk about this match. Then I should tell you some more. That should go up be a compliment to CM Punk Brock Lesnar. I'm just saying, it's match of the year, and I don't know how you could even... Ah, uh, it's just mind-boggling to me, See, Jay. This, it, this, argument, this, uh, this argument has absolutely no place here. I would understand if I was talking shit about Punk and Lesnar, but I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> But listen, Jay, here's what I'm saying with that, though. I, I'm mind-boggled about how you could say that's better than Punk and Lesnar. I'm thinking it must be a CM Punk thing. That's all I can think with you. Cause you because you know, maybe, it, maybe it's a Rhodes thing. Maybe that's it. Not everyone is like you, you where they're anti-something instead of being pro-something. I'm not anti-CM Punk. I'm pro-Cody Rhodes. You're more pro- it's, Okay, we're not going to get into this here. So it's preference. You can't about argue about preference. All CM Punks have a right to live, Okay. <laughs> See, see, like you make it sound like the Rhodes match, like was not even close. Like there was no chance that that even like. In comparison like, to Brock and Punk, no, there is no chance. There is because so, uh, I know so you don't other. give any credit to that story. That crowd. Uh, you want to talk about a crowd reaction? Talk about a crowd that was dead. That was totally killed by a terrible ass show. That was pretty much the only match they actually cared about. Can we say, I can say the same about Punk and Lesnar. No one cared about anything else on there except maybe the Daniel well, Bryan match. Except maybe the Daniel Bryan match, which was the fucking main event of the uh, show. Also, also, I got the pay per view. Just so you know. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just looking at all cards. There's no reason you could put, unless you just dislike someone so bad that you would put Rhodes. Because I don't know. because the story, suspense, the it, work rate, it was all Are there. Are you going like, to remember this match 20 years from now? Are you? I'm not going to remember can. Punk and Lesnar 20 exactly, years from now. I will. I will. I, will. I won't. So, so again, we're just arguing. We're arguing personal opinion here. That's, yeah, that's, that's what I'm because, saying. It doesn't make sense. Because this is Justin's. So Justin wants to go. Well, well, I will, and that means that's why it's right. I'm not saying. I'm just saying from our perspective that I can't see how he could put that. I just. I'm. Mind, I'm trying to make excuses for him, and he ain't making excuses for himself. Why he would put that over Punk and Lesnar? I don't get it. It's it's personal preference. How the hell can you? You, 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 you talk about. Spent- you talk about speaking from your perspective. Your head is up your own ass, so <laughs> your perspective is 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 not really credible right now. And you act like he didn't just spend three minutes talking about how, talking about why he liked the match. I but said he's absolutely. The <laughs> he's making said, the same points. But it, it does, it, this is still this, this argument is so over the, over my head. It's it's personal preference. You're not argue, you're not arguing a terrible match against a good match. You are arguing two great matches, and it's just whatever match you enjoyed more. Yes, yeah, someone. So what the hell is the, the difference here? But we're talking about the best. We're not talking about our favorite. We're talking about the best. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, if, yeah if you like a certain character more than someone else, part. some matches are going to be better than other matches. But we don't, we all don't have the same standards. So who's who are you to determine what but the you're, best? You shouldn't be saying you're marking out for it. That's that's you being a favorite. That's you being a partisan to it. Hell yeah! I was marking out too. I'm voting. I'm voting. What? Okay. Here's here's the thing. I'm not gonna say anything else for the rest of the show. Every pick that Justin makes, I'm gonna agree with it since that's the way that it's supposed to go. Since since we can't be partisan, since we can't have (laughs) opinions, and you know what's best for business, I'm just gonna agree with you. No, See, here's the thing: is that he says, "Oh, you were marking out for it." Well, 
You were fucking marking out for Punk and Lesnar, so what the fuck is the difference? Well, did I say once in my critique that I was marking out? I didn't say that once. I was marking I, out for both matches. I tend to think Lesnar was a, Lesnar and Punk was a little bit better, but I'm not going to sit here and act like I wasn't out of my chair for Cody Rhodes and Goldust versus The Shield. I'm just saying critiquing a best match is different than saying your favorite match is all I'm saying. But it, to an, to but an it, extent. It actually, isn't that kind of... Don't they kind yeah. of... Line? Because if you don't... It, like let's say a match captivates you and it, it does more like let's say you put sad like we're we're arguing basically margins we're 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 going over decimal points here at this point. I know that's how good these two matches are. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I refuse to think that Rhodes and wait a minute. Gold. What did you just say, Justin? That's how what? What you said. I know that's how so these matches are. Like, what did you say there? These matches are both great matches, but I'm just saying. Bam, I there we go. Next subject. <laughs> okay, that's fine. 